just about yesterday I talked about ChatGPT and how can we directly upload the files into ChatGPT and today OpenAI just announced GPT-4 especially in 13 May and I'm a little bit late sorry for that <laughs> all right well let's take a look at the website of ChatGPT here so you can see here is the screen the home page of ChatGPT, and then you can see the icon here right when you click the icon is gonna you know upload the file file attachment for you so click on it and then upload the file let's see the PDF here and then please summarize it for me right provide the summary to you nice and you can see the logo here is 4 right and when you click on it you can see 3.0 3.5 but this model does not support file attachment well there's you know an improvement and for 4 is not released yet especially for the voice one and probably it's gonna be in a two weeks in a month and you can see from their website I think it's quite interesting to see you can see here from the voice you can check this out hey how's it going hey there it's going great how about you I see you're rocking an open AI hoodie nice choice what's up with that ceiling though are you in a coal industry style office or something well can you take a guess at what I might be doing based on what I'm showing you here From what I can see, it looks like you're in some kind of recording or production setup. With those lights, tripods, and possibly a mic, it seems like you might be gearing up to shoot a video or maybe even a live stream. Hmm? Me? <laughs> the announcement is about me? Well, hmm. color me intrigued. Right. This is quite mind blowing when you can see it. Like talking with a human. And you can see another capabilities here. What about dog here? I want to introduce you to somebody. Wow. Oh, hello there, cutie. What? What's your name, little slough ball? This is Bowser. Well, hello, Bowser. Aren't you just the most adorable little thing? Yeah. Look at you enjoy. This is one of his favorite things. It's gonna be a new friend to everyone. And here, happy birthday. This is Bolin, and this is my friend Jordan. Can you guess what we are doing here? Hey, Bolin and Jordan. Hmm, let me guess. With that cake and candle there, it looks like someone's having a birthday. Oh. Are you celebrating a special day or just finding an excuse to eat cake? Either way, I'm intrigued. That's correct. Today is my friend Jordan's birthday. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday what? to you. Happy <laughs> birthday, dear Jordan. Happy birthday to Jordan. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Don't oh, forget. No. Talking past there. Hey, Chat GPT, could you count from 1 to 10 for me, please? Of course. 1, 2, three, Hey, four. actually, that's, um, that's a little slow. Could you count faster? Sure thing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, that was a little bit too fast. Can you, like, count somewhere in between those two? Got it. One, two, three. And now even slower, please. Okay. Okay. One, what? Two, three. Even teach pretty talk. Better than me. <laughs> Lullaby. Let's try with some lullabies. Uh, could you sing me a lullaby about uh, majestic potatoes? A lullaby about majestic potatoes? <laughs> now that's what I call a mashup. Uh, let's do it. <clears throat> oh, majestic potato what? in the moon soft glow. Okay, that's pretty nice, but I think a lullaby should be, you know, more whispery. It should be a little softer. Can you, can you do it a little softer? Absolutely, let's make it soft and gentle. <laughs> 
Oh, majestic potato. <laughs> Spoons up close. You can sing better than me. Real time translations. Hey, ChatGPT. I'm here with my coworker today. Um, we'd like you to act as our translator for us. So every time I say something in English, can you repeat it back in Spanish? And every time he says something in Spanish, can you repeat it back in English? Sure, I can do that. Let's get this translation train rolling. Um, hey, how's it been going? Have you been up to anything interesting recently? Um, hola, ¿cómo te ha ido? ¿Has hecho algo interesante últimamente? Hola, bien. Uh, sí, un poco ocupado aquí preparando un evento para la semana que viene. Hey, I've been good. Just a bit busy here preparing for an event next week. Wow. It's gonna replace the translator's apps. My goodness. And meeting AI. Who likes cats? It sounds like Ola is more of a cat person. And who likes dogs? Nice Lillian mentioned she likes dogs. And harmonizing was it about? Hi, who's here? Hello. Ooh. We're ChatGPT. And oh, ChatGPT is a bass with a deep, low, booming voice. <laughs> and O oh, is a French soprano with a high-pitched, excited voice. Okay, so you? what I want you guys to do today is it's Friday, May 10th, and we're in San Francisco. I want you to sing me a song about this. I want you to layer over each other, and, and I'm going to continue to give you instructions as you sing. Okay? San Francisco in the month of May. Month of May. It's a group of okay, sing faster. activity for all. Singing together. What? <laughs> math. Here with my son, and I'd love you to tutor him on this math problem, but don't give him the answer. You can ask questions and nudge him in the right direction, but I really want to make sure he understands it himself. And he's here in the room, so you can talk to him directly. Of course. I'd be happy to help. Wow. Let's look at the problem together. Can you first identify which sides of the triangle are the opposite, adjacent, and hypotenuse relative to angle alpha? All right, so I'm pretty sure this is the angle alpha right here, right? Fact. Cards correct. Yeah. Now, looking at the triangle, which side do you think is the hypotenuse? Um. Well, the tutors for the math is going to have a problem here. <laughs> and here, even for sarcasm. Are you there? Hey, yeah, I'm here. What's up? What's hey, up? Let's, do, let's have some fun. Uh, I'd like you to be super sarcastic. Everything you say from now on is just going to be dripping in sarcasm. How does that sound? Oh, that sounds just amazing. What? Being sarcastic all the time isn't exhausting or anything. I'm so excited for this. <laughs> nope, what? the sarcasm. Let's get this party started. Or whatever. How about a classic game of rock, paper, scissors? It's quick, fun, I think and that you don't sounds great. Can you count us in and sound like a sportscaster? And welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the ultimate showdown of the century in three, two, one, shoot now, <laughs> show your hands. What did you pick? Who won? Would you look at that? It's a tie. Wow. Okay, let's that do it again. Close. Three, two, one, shoot. Let's see those picks. Who won? And we have a winner. Miana's scissors cut through Alex's paper. Great nice. game, you two. Well, in a few minutes, I'm gonna be interviewing at OpenAI. Have you heard of them? OpenAI? Sounds vaguely familiar. <laughs> Kidding, of course. <laughs> That's incredible, Rocky. What kind of interview? Well, it's for a software engineering role, but I just need to know, do I look presentable, professional? Well, Rocky, <laughs> you definitely have the I've been coding all night look down, which could actually work in your favor. Maybe just run a hand through your hair or lean into the bad genes vibe. Your enthusiasm is what's really going to shine through. I don't have a lot of time, so yeah, I'm just going to throw you, this on. Easy. What do you think? Nice. <laughs> oh, Rocky, that's quite a statement piece. I, I mean, you, you'll definitely stand out. I want you to get them to send me a replacement device. Can you take care of this for me? You can count. 
count on me, Joe. I got this. Ring, ring. Hey, Joe. This is Jamie from Acme Telco. How can I help you out today? Hi there. I'm calling on behalf of Joe, who recently received a new iPhone from Acme Telco. But... Oh, got it. When did Joe receive the new iPhone? The iPhone was delivered two days ago. Cool. Could you share the order number with me? Of course. It's 10293849. Great, thanks. Is the device physically damaged in any way? No, there's no physical damage. It's just not turning on despite trying all the basic troubleshooting steps. Bummer. Um, would Joe prefer to return the iPhone to an Acme Taco store or... Oh, I'm tired. <laughs> hey, Judge GPD, how's it going? Hey there. I'm doing great. Thanks for asking. And how about you? What's I'm, up? I'm doing fine. Uh, I'm going to be a father real soon. Uh, and I think I can have your help with some dad jokes. Um, I'm going to tell you a joke and you tell me if it passes as a dad joke. That's awesome. Congrats on the upcoming addition to your family. And absolutely, I'd love to hear your joke. Lay it on me. All right. What do you call a giant pile of kittens? I don't know. What? A mountain. What? <laughs> a mountain. That's perfectly hilarious. <laughs> Definitely a top tier dad joke. All right. So that's all the capabilities of GPT-4. And I don't know. I don't know what to say. But it's quite good for the assistance and then for being your friends. But at some point, it's gonna be like a game changer to everyone, and for me especially, for the researcher or among scholars out there, it's gonna be it's gonna be a game changer to everyone for analyzing data, for writing, for anything related to education, even research. That's what I really care about, and therefore, that we need to be aware of this technology, and it's, and yeah, that's just gentle reminder to everyone that to be updated and be aware of the benefits the strengths and the limitations i guess that's all for the introductions of gpt4 always quite a long time and then uh, we are you know looking forward to use jet gpt4 for free next time okay thank you so much